Hi everyone, Jinx here with an unlimited farming trick for pure gold in Romancing Saga Minstrel Song. So in order to do this trick, your event rank time needs to be between 14 and 22. For those who don't know, you can check this at your main menu. So we're going to begin by triggering the Mines Assaulted quest. In order to do that, you can talk to the police at the Melvere Police Station or just head to Orphant. This is the Melvere Police Station. Monsters have taken the mine at Orophant. With most of the Imperial forces off quelling pirates, we've had to call in our second-rate backup squad to deal with the situation. I wonder if those amateurs will be able to manage. So, obviously next, if you haven't already, we're traveling to Orphant. Once there, make your way to the furthest end of town, to the mines. Monsters have taken up key positions in the mine. Getting through there won't be easy. Can't the Imperial Army take care of such a small matter? We're just a small squad. Outnumbered and ill-equipped. We were trained for this. If you won't do it, then we shall remove the nuisances. You and your men go and secure the passageways. Thank you. We'll give it our all! After you get the quest, normally you would enter the mines, defeat the monsters, and rescue the miners. However, our objective is to not rescue any of the miners and defeat the gold dragon, which is one of the first enemies accessible in the mines. Depending on your party, the gold dragon can potentially be a challenge, but it will always drop pure gold, which is a rare resource that can be used to evolve weapons or to sell for at least a thousand gold at the shops. It should be noted that the Gold Dragon starts the battle off with a breath attack that can hit pretty hard. If you're struggling to defeat the Gold Dragon, you can venture further into the mines for a potential back attack. However, you run the risk of raising your event rank with monster encounters, especially if you're farming. So choose wisely how many battles you wish to participate in if you plan on doing this over and over. For those of you who are struggling, here's a map of the Orphant Mines. It's helpful after the first mini boss, especially if you're trying to get around past the gold dragons, get that back attack. Another helpful tip for this quest, and also for this tip video, is you can bring the proficiencies find ore and mine. I did happen to find one pure gold when mining, but it's a very rare spawn, but every little bit helps. You can pause this video or I'll also post it at the end for your viewing pleasure. Alright, let's continue with the gold dragon. Once you've defeated the gold dragon and not interacted with any of the miners you could rescue, leave or front and go back to any city. It would also help to potentially rest at an inn as well to get your party back to top condition and then return back to or front mines to repeat the process to your heart's content and farm as much pure gold as you'd like. Once you're done farming pure gold, only then should you begin to rescue the miners and complete the quest. Thanks a million! I think there's still some folks left behind! Once this quest is completed, the trick cannot be done again on this playthrough. Our squad will be stationed here a while, just as a precaution. Thanks for your help. Another question many of you might have is, what can pure gold be used for? Aside from selling it, pure gold can be used to upgrade your weapons to their next forms at the blacksmith. Most notably, the dress sword can be tempered with pure gold to become the dress sword plus one. The golden blade can be tempered with pure gold to become the golden blade plus one. And the antique dagger can be tempered with pure gold to become antique dagger plus one. After you temper these weapons at the blacksmith, they won't immediately change into their next forms like some of you may assume. You have to break them in by doing a little bit of battling until the tempering material is no longer red and the weapon is at its plus one next form in their name. So pay attention to your weapons to see if they've evolved over time. Pure gold helps in the beginning phases of these evolutions before you evolve them again to create their plus two stronger versions. 
If you would like a guide on blacksmithing and tempering weapons, please let me know in the comment section below because I know it can be very tricky for newer players because the game just leaves you with no information on it and just throws you out there and there's not a lot of information on this given the fact that this is an older game, so let me know. On that note, that's pretty much it for the unlimited pure gold trick. I'm kind of stalling to hit that YouTube 8 minute mark, but there are plenty of tips and tricks in Romancing Saga The Minstrel's Song, such as grinding spots to spark new techniques in the early game with Avi, the duplication glitch at shops, and even game breaking battle combinations like in some of the other Saga games. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video on any of those or if you know any fun methods, tips, and tricks that helps you in this game. Because at times, Romancing Saga can really throw you into the deep end of the pool, even for seasoned RPG players. But I personally think that's part of the charm of this series, because when you find methods to take advantage of, it feels like you're really getting somewhere in the game. And I'd love to share more of these moments like this that helps me along in my playthroughs. I really love the Saga series and would love to continue making more videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, leave a thumbs up and drop a comment and consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss a video. It also lets me know you're interested in this type of content and lets me know to make more of these videos. I'd love to do more videos on the Saga series as a whole, so let me know what quests you'd like to see me do more of and cover. Alright, me Jinx, signing out.